Okay, here we go. An item that originally cost $150 is marked 25% off the original price. Find the sales price. So we have $150. And since it's off, we need to be minusing. Now, what are we going to minus? Well, it depends what 25% of $150 is. 150 is. Okay, so we need to divide the 25 by 100, so 0 0.25, and then we need to multiply 0 0.25 times 150. Okay, I got 37.5, so that is what I'm going to minus, $37.50. So 150 minus 37.50 is $112.50. When you get 0.5, you got to put the zero. Okay. All right, the next one. An item that originally cost $240 is marked up 5%. Find the price after the markup. So we have a $240 amount. Then we mark it up 5%. So we add. Okay. And I find 5% of 240, okay? So I'm going to divide the 5 by 100. That's 0 0.05. So I multiply 0 0.05 times 240 is 12, okay? Again, I'm adding because it was marked up, okay? So 240 plus 12 is going to give me $252. Okay, find the total cost of the item. The purchase price is $50. The sales tax is 6%. So we have $50. And on a sales tax, that's always adding. Okay, that always adds money on to the price. So I have to find 6% of fifty dollars okay so i divide the six by a hundred zero point zero six then multiply so zero point zero six times fifty three so fifty plus three is fifty three dollars Okay, next problem. A suit is priced at $90. It is marked up in price by 20%. After Christmas, it is marked 25% off. Find the final price of the suit. So we have two percents here, okay? So that's going to be two problems. So we start with $90. And the first is a percent up. So plus... And to find the percent, of course, we got to add a dollar amount, but I don't have a dollar amount, so I got to find 20% of $90. So I need to get rid of the 28%, divide it by 100, and that's 0 0.2. And now I times. 0 0.2 times 90 is 18. So 90 plus 18 is 108. Okay, now we have a second percentage off, okay? So $108. And that's off, so that'd be minus, okay? So I need to find 25%, but this time the 25% is of the 108. So it's 25 cents percent of $108. So I divide 25 by 100 and that's 0 0.25. Then times. $27. So I take 108 minus 27 is 81. So that's $81.
Okay, find the cost of the grocery list. Okay, and here we is our our things we're buying. We buy two pounds of apples at a dollar nine per pound. Okay. Okay, so dollar nine per pound. Well, how many pounds are we're buying? Two pounds. We got to multiply by two. Okay, that's two dollars and eighteen cents. Okay, three boxes of cereal at a dollar ninety nine each. So a dollar ninety nine is the unit price. Now, how many units are there? There's three. So times three. Five dollars and ninety seven cents. Two and a half pounds of shaved turkey at three thirty nine per pound. So you got three point three nine per pound, and there's two and a half pounds. So times 2.5, so 3.39 times 2.5 is $8.48. Because 47 and then the 5 rounds it up, it goes up to 48. Okay, one can of tomato sauce at $1.39, so I have $1.39. But I'm only buying one of them, so really this just... It just ends up here because there's only one. Okay, five packages of rice at two for four dollars. Well, the problem is what I need to do is take this two for four dollars or two dollars. I screwed this up. Shoot. Okay. Okay. It should say I screwed this up. Two for four dollars. Okay, two for four dollars. So I come over here and I got to take my four dollars and divide it by two to find out how much that is. Okay, so four divided by two is whoops, sorry, four divided by two is two. So it's two, I cross that out, replace that, and it's two dollars each. Okay. So it's two dollars each, and I'm buying five. So two times five. Two times five is ten. Okay. So now I got all these that I need to be added. Okay. So again, that that two for four two. Two for four dollars, you take your dollars, four, divided by how many? Two, and that's four divided by two is two dollars, two dollars each, so two dollars times five. Okay, so 2.18 plus 5.97 plus 8.48 plus 1.39 plus 10. Okay, I got 28 dollars and two cents. Now with coupons, we subtract, okay? There's two coupons. So the first we have is a dollar, and the second is 75 cents. So 28.02 minus 1 minus 0 0.75. I got $26.27. Okay, now this one. Find the better price. You can buy three forty-nine for four pounds or four twenty-nine for six pounds. So we need to set up two divisions with the money on top. We always divide the money first. So three dollars and forty-nine cents for four, and this is four dollars and twenty-nine cents for six. So 3.49 divided by 4 is 87 cents. So that's 87 cents per pound, okay? Or each. You can write each if you like that. Now here, I have to pay more money, but I get more pounds. So I take 4.29 divided by 6, and that's going to be 72 cents. per pound. Now which one is cheaper?
it would be this one, okay? So it would be this one that I want to buy. That's a better price.